Hello everyone, I'm here in the council chamber um, to answer some of your questions that have been coming in. So as we've been doing the weekly videos, um, we've had a number of different questions from people about um, things that we're doing or how you can help and be involved. So what I thought today's video, we could read some of these out and I could give you the answers um, so that you've got them. Once you start collecting glass again, can I have a skip for all my beer bottles? Well, we're all enjoying the lockdown in different ways. Um, and I think we know how um, this gentleman's enjoying it. Um, we are restoring glass collection recycling, uh, and we'll be doing that in the first week of May. The next question has been about uh, our parks. Are you going to close the common and any of our play parks? Uh, well, our play parks are currently closed um, because uh, to make sure that we're stopping the spread of the virus, uh, but the open spaces are still open for people to go and use. Um, we need to make sure we're adhering to the lockdown principles and guidelines. So that means that you should only be going to use our open spaces for your daily form of exercise. The police are patrolling the parks, so they will be challenging people who aren't uh, following that guidance. Uh, the next question we've got, uh, why are there so many cruise ships in the dock and are they causing a problem with air pollution? So some of you may not know that when the cruise ships come in, they tend to leave their engines running to power um, the activities on board. Um, the cruise ships currently are not full of holiday makers, uh, but they are still manned by the crews. So some of them are operating at very low power just for those, those crew members. Uh, we have seen an increase in the quality of the air that we're all breathing in um, uh, as pollution has gone down, as road traffic has reduced during the lockdown. Um, and a number of different other contributory elements have been reduced. So that's a positive. Um, another question that we get raised regularly is about people who are struggling to pay their council tax. Um, if you are in any financial difficulties, what I would say to you is get in contact with us as soon as possible. We want to help and support all our residents, and make sure that they are well, um, and if they are facing troubles about paying their council tax, then get in touch with us because we can help and support you. The last question that we've got is about food. Um, people wanting to donate food to the Southampton Community Hub. So the hub is our response as a council working with the voluntary sector and the NHS to make sure that nobody is facing this crisis alone and they're getting the food and the medicines that they need. Um, it's great so many of you want to help support that and donate um, some food. So what we would ask you to do is not come down to the Guildhall but donate in your local supermarkets. Most supermarkets have got a box where you can put some food in there, which will then be distributed to the most vulnerable residents. Thank you very much for listening. I hope some of the answers have been helpful uh, and we'll continue to answer your questions on social media as and when they come in.